Hello and welcome to 7 useless facts that may potentially help you out. But well, let's get started on it. Bees will lose aggression if you move far enough away. Yes they do. In fact, a lot of creatures have this feature coded in. Where if the player gets far enough away from the creature, the aggro gets cut short. You can see the difference compared to the maximum distance and the distance they stop following you if you get too far away. Tree guard drops are immune to fire. They actually are. Even though the drops may start smoldering when the tree guard dies, the drops are not immediately turned into ashes like many other creatures. I heard there is also another creature that also does this, but I don't know which. Maybe you guys know as well. If you do, let me know. Dirt piles require the player to be visible to spawn. Kind of? I don't know. What's interesting is that they are random on how they spawn, and they must detect a player to establish a position. They randomly move around just outside the player's visual distance until the player is visible, and then they establish their position. This can happen if you're sleeping in a tent or siesta while a track is about to spawn. The player would normally not see this unless you're using a mod to change the camera. I just thought this was kind of interesting. I'm not sure how this works in multiplayer if you just see the track disappear out of nowhere, or if it spawns once it detects a new player. More testing is needed. You can speed up raising a sail by following the prompts and clicking twice. Yes you can! You know, I never knew this was a thing until I tested out the freeze bug a few weeks back. This will speed up how fast you raise your mast by two times. So boat users, time those button presses. Fire damage is based on mob size. Yes, it is based on mob size and also what is being used to light the fire. You see, if you use the fire staff, fire damage is doubled compared to using a torch or the fire darts. The size of the target also plays a role in how much damage you'll do. You can see here Deerclops took 62 damage, while the rabbit only takes 17 from the fire damage. Using a bush hat stops Bunnyman aggression. This is something I learned recently and is really surprising to find. Usually the bush hat is a rather useless item because the player needs to be undetected to avoid creatures by using the bush hat. But with the bunny men, hiding into the bush automatically causes the creatures to lose aggro. This works also for monster characters too, so maybe this is a new item that monster characters can hold. Good luck trying to get out of the situation surrounded by bunnies. Beeswax melts when near fire. It does, and it melts if exposed to any unsafe fire, this being wildfires or campfires. Fire pits keep the beeswax from melting. For this to happen, the beeswax needs to be near the unsafe fire for only a split second to trigger the melting. This means that the fire doesn't even need to be burning for the beeswax to melt, so make sure to protect it if you have any on you. That is about all of the potentially useless information I got. I hope it helps you on your endeavors. This has been Terra of DVG Media. And I hope you have a good one. Take care.